In this video I'm going to present to you this new block from Buildcraft called the filtered buffer. Now this is basically a storage block with nine inventory slots but as you can see they are currently closed. The slots here are filter slots and you will use these to reserve the slots below. So we can now uh, we can first test and you can see that I can't put anything inside here, but I can reserve this slot for red wool. It will not accept any blue when it is reserved for red. And likewise, I can reserve these slots for blue, and red is not able to enter, and so on and so forth. And that is basically it, the filtered buffer. This is the crafting recipe, planks on the side with a diamond pipe, a chest and a piston in the middle. So this is the graphical user interface, the player interface. It should also be possible to automate a little bit and this is a basic build craft logistics system and in this diamond pipe here I have three new triggers. These uh, triggers are active when the content of the filtered buffer has less than 25% red wool or 50% blue wool and uh, 75% green wool. So these are currently just examples of course. So let's test this. What are 25% of one stack? That is 16. So this red line will now be on until we have 16 here. And then we will still have some items in transit that will fill up some more. But the red line was turned off at 16. We can also test for the 50%, which is... So 50% of two stacks is one stack. And we can do similar tests at 75%. And 75% of four stacks is three stacks. So in this case, I think we're going to help it a little bit on the way can help the blue here as well. So at 64 the blue should turn off and at 75% uh, here uh, the green one should turn off. And you use these gate triggers in a way that makes sure that you have room for the items in transit. And as you can see we got 16, uh, 14 extra blue and 14 extra uh, green here. So that is how you can automate it with Buildcraft pipes. You can also fill this filtered buffer with other mods like Applied Energistics. And Applied Energistics will respect the filters. Now on to extraction. So we need also the ability to extract items from the filtered buffer. And when it comes to extraction, the filtered buffer is treated exactly like a normal chest. So items will be extracted one slot at a time unless you set up specific rules like for example in an emerald pipe. So we can say, so the order here is red, blue and green. We could change that to green, uh, blue and red and test that. Oops. We should now get, get uh, blue, red and green blue, red and green. And that's it. That's how you use the filtered buffer. Good luck. Have fun. Bye bye.